Hello everyone, I'm Alex Dykes. This is a 2014 Jeep Cherokee, and I have right here a Grocco Classic Ride 50 child seat. I actually have three of them, and we're going to see how well they fit inside this 2014 Jeep Cherokee. The Cherokee has a higher ride height than the RAV4, the CRV, or a number of other crossover competitors. That's the distance between the ground and the bottom of the vehicle. That translates to a taller interior than those other vehicles as well. While that does have an impact on handling for the vehicle, it means that it's a lot easier to get child seats and other cargo items in the car because the load floor is higher off the ground. So this child seat, as you can see, is right at a natural lifting height for me, putting it in and out of the car. We also have doors that open almost to 90 degrees from the vehicle, making it easier to get things in and out. We now have two rearward facing child seats in the car. That driver's seat is adjusted for me at six feet tall, so you can see I have about two inches of room between that rearward facing child seat and the seat back. These seats are installed using the lap belts. If you're unsure of how to install a child seat or if you're getting a new car, I highly recommend you visiting a certified child seat installer so they can show you the proper way to install a child seat in a car. It's easy to get them wrong. It's also easy to think that you might have it right. It's always best to be double sure and check with a certified child seat installer. This passenger seat over here is adjusted all the way back in its track. We had a six foot five passenger in there. As you can see, this child seat is touching the seat back. Keep in mind that the Cherokee has the most rear leg room of any vehicle in this immediate segment. So this is going to be a little bit more accommodating than something like a RAV4 or a CRV, where you might get a little bit tighter between taller passengers and these rearward facing child seats. Okay, we now have two child seats in the car. We have this rearward facing child seat over on the passenger side, and we have this forward facing child seat attached via latch anchors in the middle. One nice touch is that there are dedicated latch anchors for attaching this middle seat rather than having to share the outboard two seats latch anchors. The Cherokee is a bit wider than most of the direct competitors because it is a slightly larger vehicle, which means it's easier for a single adult to sit back here with two child seats in the car. I have to squish over to the left side of the seat, of course, but put on my seat belt here. See how likely this is. Seat belt buckle is a little bit buried under this center child seat. It is a little bit of a problem. And we're in. Again, this seat belt buckle is buried beneath this child seat just because of the positioning of where that latch is. And it's right there in the center of the seat rather than more in the left seat in this vehicle. Makes it a little bit difficult to both get in and out of this seat. However, there is a decent amount of room back here as far as your average car goes. I can even put my arms next to myself if I had to. This isn't the ideal in comfort, but I can sit beside two car seats in the back of the Cherokee. Our last test is three child seats across the back. These are all forward facing. I'm gonna close the door here to see how well they fit. So you can see there is a little bit of extra room here. You can fit about a hand between this child seat and the door and a hand over here between that child seat and the door as well. If you have wider child seats, you may have difficulty fitting all three in the back. You need to know that this is a little bit wider again than some of the other competitors in this segment. So there'll be a little bit less room in the RAV4 and in the Honda CRV. You will still be able to fit these child seats across in the back in those two vehicles. However, it's just gonna be a little bit tighter. If you have narrower seats, there's gonna be a little bit of extra room. And if you have wider seats, they may not fit in these compact crossover vehicles. You may need to step up to something like a Jeep Grand Cherokee, which is a mid-sized crossover. It's a little bit wider and will have a little bit more room in the back. Keep in mind when placing three child seats across a vehicle, if things are extraordinarily tight on the sides, you do want to be extra careful about that. And again, consult a certified child seat installer because most vehicles these days do have side curtain airbags and that really could impact safety in an accident with your child. If you are fitting three child seats across the back seat of any vehicle, you really should consult a certified child seat installer, especially if your vehicle is equipped with side impact airbags because the curtain airbags come down from the ceiling and will roll all the way down across the glass in the car. And that could impact rear child seat installation, especially if the child seats are exceptionally close to the doors. We should be fine in this Cherokee, but if you have a vehicle that has a tighter fit, then you really ought to consult a professional. The Cherokee has a split 60-40 folding rear seat, and it is possible to keep two child seats over here in the 60 portion, fold the 40 portion down, and stick longer cargo items in the Cherokee. The front passenger seat also folds down, as you can see right here, to allow you to put longer cargo items all the way into the front of the vehicle. One thing to keep in mind, however, is that you cannot fold this 40 section down while a child seat is in the middle seat. The child seats are just a bit too wide, and the car is a bit too narrow overall. Over here you can see that we have these two seats installed using the latch anchors and these latch anchors are positioned quite low in the rear seat back rather than up higher where some vehicles will install them. This means that you will have to go around to the rear cargo hatch in order to install this top latch anchor rather than reaching over the back to try and install them right there on the seat from the inside of the vehicle. 
The Cherokee is trying to both be a crossover like a RAV4 and a CRV and a dedicated on road vehicle like the Jeep Liberty was. And as such, we do have a fairly small cargo compartment when you compare it with the RAV4 or the CRV. It's about 12 cubic feet of room less than the RAV4. That means that while you can fit three child seats in the car in this nested fashion, as well as one large roller bag in the car, it is a lot more cramped than you'll find in that Toyota. The Limited does have a power closing tailgate hatch, making it easier to put things in and out of the car. And the rear seat backs also slide forward and backward, helping you enlarge that cargo area. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video. Again, I'm Alex Dykes, and this has been the 2014 Jeep Cherokee Limited. Be sure and click that subscribe banner at the bottom of your screen so you can be updated on all of our latest videos. Be sure and watch out for the Jeep Cherokee full review coming up in the next few days as well. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Again, I'm Alex Dykes, and this is Beatrice right here. Go ahead and click that subscribe banner at the bottom of your screen so you can be updated on all of our latest videos. You can also send me emails, follow the instructions right there down below. Go ahead and comment on this video. Tell me what you liked, what you don't like about this video, what we can improve upon next time, what other vehicles you'd like us to jam some car seats in and review, and we'll see you next week.